Some fun facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun <laughs> facts. Whenever he says something that's not true, and it's like, that's not true. I do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, let's start. Yeah, Simon took a shit. Right quiet, quiet voice. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Duo Power Podcast. Your speed skating podcast, where we talk about everything speed skating related, inline and long track. The last 15 years of speed skating have brought us lifelong lessons, memories and friendships, as well as a trip to the Olympics and lives as full-time professional athletes. In this podcast, we talk with friends and fellow speed skaters. We bring you behind-the-scenes portraits, as well as race reports, training philosophy, inside stories from the skating world, and much more. This podcast is brought to you by the Dubai Brothers. I'm Philip Dusmit. And I'm Stephen Dusmit. I hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy listening. listening. So, hello and welcome to the podcast and welcome to you, Simon Albrecht. Hello. Hello. What's up? What's up? And hello to you, Etienne Ramali. Hello. Uh, we are right now sitting in the in the nice, comfortable, warm house uh, with uh, coffee and a bit of snacks and everything. And we're looking outside with all the rain and the races right now in Crescara going on, but luckily we are dry. And uh, I had the pleasure and the time to sit down with these two really fast German sprinters, both of you, and uh, also, yeah, good friends of mine for a lot of years. So thank you a lot for taking your time to talk with me. Yeah, no worries. It's all yeah. good. All fun. So just quickly for an introduction for the two of you, uh, we have Simon Albrecht sitting here with me like a, a wonder child in the sprints, in the time trials, <laughs> in the... Everything that's fast, he's there. And you have uh, two titles from World Championships as a junior, two titles from senior as well, and even held uh, world records uh, during uh, some of uh, some of the of the years. And also we have also a so so fast guy, Etienne Ramali, who I also know for a lot of years. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's not me that's fast; it's you. So you don't have to say thank you. But I've also known you through a lot of years on different teams. And you've also yeah, taken medals at European Championships, both in junior and senior. And also a really fast German guy in the national team. And yeah, so thank you very much for both of you uh, to be here today. Um, I would love to just talk with you today just a little bit about uh, random stories and the good old days. And also yeah, what you're doing now, how you train. And yeah, what does, what's the goals for the next uh, future and everything and so so? Um, just just start off. Uh, where where did you start uh, skating the two of you and in which club and so? Because I guess that's a little bit it's a little bit the same story, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. For me, uh, I started only because uh, my brother used to skate before me. Uh, at that time, I still played uh, football in a club um, in the town next to here. And uh, yeah, because I was too young to stay at home, my dad was working and my mom went to the competitions with uh, my brother. So I always had to come. Yeah. yeah. And in the beginning, I really, really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, for me, in the beginning, I was not interested as a child to just do yeah. laps and laps yeah. uh, because I didn't see the fun in that. Yeah. So you chose uh, to do less laps instead. That was more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go faster. Yeah. Uh, no, in the beginning, I was just really bad. Like, obviously, at three years old, how good can you skate? Like, not yeah. really good. <laughs> and then you're always last or crashed yeah. if you just yeah. start. But you, you started at the age of, like, that young. Like, yeah, at I started years. at three. At was three? Wow. Okay. The, the first time I put skates on. Yeah. So, it, Etienne, you're a, a little bit uh, older than uh, Simon. Thank you for pointing this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, no worries. You might not see it on my face, but I'm 30 years old now. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're stuck. You're like a Benjamin Button kind of guy. You don't get any older. It's just, it's the same. And... Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for me, actually, the story is almost the same. Uh, my... My brother started with the speed skating. Yeah. I used to do aggressive stuff before. Oh, same, for same for so me. Same for me. So good. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, at the same time, I was playing handball. Okay. I don't yeah. know. If, yeah, handball. Yeah, yeah, handball. And the, the, the team was not anymore. So okay. I was looking for a new sport. And yeah. for this time, my brother went to skating the first time. I joined him. Yeah. And I liked it. Yeah. But 
I didn't enjoy the labs that much, but the, <laughs> you know, when we were young, they always had like the parkour stuff. Yeah, you had to do yeah, like I the really, agi- I the really agi- like this. Yeah, agility, agility test doing corners, jumping slalom. and stuff. I was the fastest. So. Really? Nice. Yes, because of my aggressive background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but it, it's funny. So you both actually made it kind of into the sport because of your brothers uh, in the same way you hated to do the labs, but you, yes. you were dragged into the sport by brothers. That's the same story with my brother and me as well. I started... Also aggressive, and then yeah, we both ended up doing speed skating. Um, but which city are you both from? Did you you start in the same club? Uh, like you're both from the Kuska? skating club. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm from a. I was born, were, uh, raised in a city close to here, okay. Mafeld Maldorf. Yeah, it's close maybe to Kuskero. Ten kilometers from here, and mm. the club was Kuskero. Yeah, yeah, and you were in Kuskero. Yeah, for me the same. I just started here, and I'm still here. Yeah. So how many years uh, have you known each other now? <sighs> each other yeah, yeah. I, i think known for a very long time uh-huh. but because of the little age gap because it a bit older <laughs> even yeah. if you don't see it in his face <laughs> or his behavior <laughs> come on um, come on i know in a nice way in a nice way yeah, just just for the record sorry yeah. but how old are you how old are you uh, i'm 23 how old are you it's in 29 plus one 20 <laughs> he's not 30 he's not <laughs> no, he's 30, not 30. <laughs> okay. yeah. so i think we've known each other for a long time but especially when you're young yeah these few these years is, the age gap is quite big if you're 10 years old or something yeah so yeah. we never used to do a lot together yeah i think that changed Yeah, when yeah, we yeah, started when we, when, doing when Euros together. When you started together. finally becoming yeah. a little bit faster. Yes, when we started we... to catching up to the bigger guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you this. I think this is an... Uh, yeah, sorry. Fun it's fact. A... Yeah, go ahead. I go used ahead. to skate with his uh, older brother. Oh, really? Yes, okay. also on the same team and stuff. So, But yeah. I've never really seen Simon before. Yeah. The first time was in Virgil. Yeah. For one... And he was just a small kid, I guess. Yeah. Yes, but I remember <laughs> because it was 500 meter... Yeah. And Simon was alone against five Italians. Yeah. And he just went like <laughs> Simon went. And they had no chance. I was like, oh, who's this guy? <laughs> Run, who's this guy running away? He has from to be fast. Yes. Okay. That's the first time I remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what was your first international race, Simon? Oh, first <laughs> international? You mean like outside, Europeans or? Outside Germany. Like, Ooh. I mean, you were in Virgil at that time. Was that one It's... of the first ones or was, was it just Etienne who didn't notice you my, at all? My mom was shaking her head. <laughs> so I guess it's. Uh, I guess it was Michelin in, your, Be- in Belgium. Your, Simon's mom just currently <laughs> answered the question from the kitchen. <laughs> so, so I guess it's Michelin. Me- Michelin, Belgium. Oh, yeah. I remember. I crashed in that race. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you remember. That's yes. how you remember the races. The, you remember a, the crashes. A, there was still the time where I didn't really enjoy skating that much <laughs> because uh, yeah, of the crashes and everything. Okay. And I remember just being last with like, one almost one lap even yeah and then still crashing and then i still had to finish the race which was really <laughs> really uh, not did, the nicest thing to do you did it for the crowd you, yes i did you it get, for my fans you get like the slow clap when you know <laughs> when you skate to the line you get up after a crash all the people are yeah. always like oh, oh nice. you're doing so good yay you finished the race yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah. i know that feeling so, by the way yeah <laughs> that feeling. everybody knows that feeling it's the skater right. feeling um for you uh Etienne, what was the what was the first time you uh, started competing outside germany uh, the first time outside germany yeah oh man you have to think back no to the i'm so well. old i don't really remember <laughs> was it quads back then or <laughs> no my brother used to do squats i didn't i was okay. the first generation on inline, on inline i think but you did the five wheel inlines when you were yes younger. Yeah, it's a good old five wheels. Um, no, I think actually in Belgium. I think it was some race mm. that took part inside the city. Okay. Like a road race. Oh, not a track but race. It was, but like it was like a 400, 300 meter course. Okay. But I don't remember the city. Okay. Uh, Maybe somebody will know. Maybe like, yeah, oh. let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Just write, write the email. Yes. Yeah, so Slide in the DM. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but okay, so this is one of the observations i did when when i started to get to know you guys i guess you were a little bit older you did international races and you were up there as good guys but the the funny thing was simon you're one year younger than me i think and we raced yeah. against each other like every second year every I think. second year yeah. yeah and i think it was like grosquera and so i started to get to know you and and back then as kids do we were racing everything you were racing elimination point yeah. race and everything <laughs> you were pretty good all around back yeah, then. Yeah, it's not you? bad. Yeah. I think um when you're still young and a kid, 
it doesn't really matter if if your uh, no coach is going to say to a 12 years old kid yeah you're yeah, only yeah. doing sprints now you're not allowed to do long distance because you're yeah. going to hurt yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you just train long distance and sprints yeah. i think everyone at that time is more or less an all-rounder you just need to do general training on skates you yes. don't need to get specific yes. yet I, i guess at that age Uh, yeah, so I remember the time when we started racing against each other, and I have one story from Crosquera was my first international race, and I remember I did a relay together with Nikolai Hemser and Molden Oh, Nielsen. yeah, I remember. And, and we got on the podium, and I was like, damn, we got on the podium. We got, like, a small trophy. It was pretty cool. We had, like, national suits and everything, and we felt like the coolest kid in the world. And I see the old pictures now, and I remember seeing you on the podium. I think you won oh, with Crosquera. Really? And even worse, I think the second place was Stamstad, and it was oh. with Timo, and I also got oh, beaten yes. by... <laughs> and you see a good one. <laughs> the girl? Good one? Yeah. Oh, so I did, she got, got checked. <laughs> <laughs> so at the time, I didn't even notice we were racing against the girl. I don't remember that. I just blocked it out of my memory. But that was yeah, that was back in the days, and you just you just raced everything. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it was really nice to just basically yeah. do every race because even then, some people were obviously still better at long distance, somewhere better at sprint, but everyone would yeah. just do everything yeah. and not really care. Oh no, it's a points race. I only, can only yeah, do a hundred yeah, yeah. meter. Nobody cared. It was just for the fun. Yeah. And what about you, Etienne? You were pretty all around when you were younger as well, yeah. Yes, and I was. I think I was more of a long distance skater. Long distance when you were younger, yes. yeah. Because the first time uh, we skated, uh, we never skated against each other because you're old. <laughs> <laughs> But we did. Motherfucker! Uh, <laughs> you can't swear in the podcast. No, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Mother friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, um, oh shit, I totally lost it because you're like this. No, but uh, the first, the very, very first uh, inline team I ever got when I didn't skate for my club anymore, that was the top race oh, team. The best team. The best team the ever. The best team. It was, it was, the teams now, they are really lucky the team is not anymore. Yeah, the, the, yes. like Power Slide and Bond and everyone, they would have been like sideshow teams if they were still here. Seriously. So, no, at the time, it was like a German marathon team and they had only germans and then they got this one danish junior and that danish junior that was me the uh, douche the douche the douche man so i was i was in there and i remember we raced and you were i think at the time by by far the best guy and we had you like <laughs> surviving all the marathons and then you were really quick in a sprint yes like that yes so when was the last time you skated like competitively in a marathon or so are you still do that Uh, this year I stopped doing it because yeah. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> But the, I think no, yeah. Actually, when you get older, you should be better in the marathon. But uh, yeah. it doesn't work for me because of my Benjamin Button syndrome. I get yeah. younger, so <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem. <laughs> So, so that's why I switched to sprinting. Yeah, but you, you can. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer your question, yeah, please. The last time was I think Berlin Marathon yeah. last year, but I didn't finish. I I quit after. No, I had to stop the race after 10 kilometers. You, you had to stop the race. Yes. Why did you have to? Uh, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, the, the, I knew I couldn't finish. The legs were hurting. But maybe, maybe you cut this because I knew I I, I couldn't finish. <laughs> I was looking to the right and I was like. Oh, I know the street. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you remember Albrecht Döring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to skate too. Yeah. I and know. it was the street he's living in. And I was sleeping. Always when I go to Berlin, to the marathon, I'm sleeping at his place. Okay. And I was like, shit, I'm, okay, I'm close to home now. I'm going to quit anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to quit here. So it was after 10 kilometers. Yeah, I, I remember you seeing That you, was my last marathon. I remember seeing you at the after party after the Berlin marathon. So at least you finished, you finished that one. And you were performing pretty well then, I guess. Yes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yes, no, to, to talk But, honest, yeah, I used to be really good in a marathon yeah. when I was younger, but yeah. I don't know why. some point it changed. I, And I, I also think for me, the chain for the 125 is not good. Okay. For me, yeah, yeah, as yeah, a sprinter, yeah. Yeah. because the, the race is so much harder. Because in the past, you had so many teams. Mm. As a sprinter, yeah, as you yeah. said, you just need to survive. Yeah. And then as a sprint, it's... The, like the marathon was never there and yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. 500 meters yeah so that's good for me but yeah. it's not anymore the way so. i saw the marathons like in the 2000s like the, in the o's up to 2010 like it was it was more like 
groups and it was like stop and go racing yeah. and then you had a sprint. good for a sprinter good for a sprinter yeah. and now with 125s it's like Bart, it's just go Bart swings <laughs> attack he attacks after 400 meters yes. and then after that you just have chase and chase and attack um, and chase you, you and forgot the, the attack after maybe one kilometer and yeah. the attack after four yeah and maybe there's an attack after five two so <laughs> so it's all it's like almost 5k <laughs> before it's just yes. breakaways and mayhem and, yes. and I one think line and everybody going hard it's not good Okay, yeah. Uh